Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Titans Beast World Waller Rising number one. This is a new book from DC Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team here. This book is written by Chuck Brown with art by Karen Grant, Clayton Camry, and Marcelo Maiolo, and Jerry Gaylord have variant covers uh, at the end of the video. You can see some of those, and we also have letters by Wes Abbott. That was a very tricky way to put the, the credits on the page, but I am very much on board with uh, the Beast World event. I really enjoy the first issue, uh, so if you haven't read that, go check it out. We have a review for that on the channel. Uh, this will be part of that, and it really focuses on very interesting characters. You saw some of them in the, uh, in the cover, so let me give you a quick synopsis of this book. In this book, Batwing... Vixen, Valzot, Superman, and Black Manta must stop Dr. Hate. The kingdom, a mystical and metaphysical realm that sits at the nexus of the parliaments. A formidable new adversary, Dr. Hate, emerges with intentions to corrupt both the kingdom and the parliament of the Red in pursuit of chaos. Batwing, Vixen, Valzot, uh, Black Manta are thrust together in a desperate fight for survival. They must learn to cooperate to thwart Dr. Hate's destructive plans before the wicked entity can devastate the unique plane which represents a collective consciousness. This consciousness unifies red, green, rot, clear, melt, metal, and gray into harmonious realm of peace in their struggle against Dr. Hate. These heroes and villains also face the task of unraveling how Amanda Waller's rice is entwined with the ongoing crisis the saga features appearances from Nubia, Dr. Mist, Red Tornado, Deadeye, and many, many more. Um, that was a lot. That synopsis is a lot for sure. I definitely understand that. But if you're willing to put up with a little bit of um, maybe some of the unknown, a little bit of things that can get a little confusing, I think you're going to get a really cool book. Uh, first of all, the book looks amazing. Uh, I'm not very familiar with Karen Grant's art, but... I'm going to look for more stuff after this uh, because it is fantastic. We'll, we'll look at a preview in a minute. Um, I really like the story here. We are kind of driven through Deadeye. Um, Deadeye is kind of the person we're following along. And then as he goes on his mission from Waller uh, to, first of all, try to figure out what's going on, find Dr. Hate. In the meanwhile, touching on upon all these heroes. Uh, so we have a very cool roster of uh, of. Um, uh, of characters in this issue, uh, which I really, really like. So uh, on top of that, throw in the mystery of the parliament and everything that's going on there, uh, the chase for Dr. Hate, who has been poking his head in and out of the DC universe in, in different issues. Uh, and then also on top of that, the layer of like, what the hell is Amanda Waller up to? This makes for a fantastic comic book. I really, really, I didn't know what to expect from a book like this because I just thought it was going to be like a, a little tie-in into the Beast World stuff. But this is kind of its own animal, uh, pun fully intended. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the preview art. And I think this might be a little divisive. Uh, the art is very stylized, very loose, very dynamic in some parts. But to me, it works. I really lo love how it portrays the action a little bit of the violence as you see this, uh, you know, this person that's recovering in an ambulance. We meet uh, Deadeye in like his job, who I believe it's Amanda Waller's nephew. They mentioned that in the book, um, uh, which is something I wasn't even, I didn't even remember that. Uh, so there's enough notes here, a lot, enough exposition to kind of bring you into that. And then, of course, just like I said, look at this, like, uh, as Deadeye puts on his costume and just shoots out of the ambulance. Oh, man, it looks so cool. I'm not very familiar with Deadeye, but he he looked cool. His abilities as a metahuman tracker with psychic abilities, um, like, that just really brings in a whole other layer of, like, something that I want to follow along with. So, yeah, I didn't know what to expect from this one, um, and I was very pleasantly surprised. Uh, this very quickly shot up to the top of my... Beast World tie-ins that I need to keep up with. So usually I, I'll check out an issue and determine, is this something I want to follow along month over month? Or is this something that I just kind of want to maybe go back and read once the event is over? I feel like this is something 
that is going to run parallel to the main series. So definitely want to check that out. So uh, if you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.